wholeness, 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 you too. First stage signing back in. Happy now. All is now to give to be in the present. It is currently moon day in the space and location where I'm at. And Horus is transiting the ninth house. Okay. So I got my intro done. So. When I say Horus transiting the ninth house, this is me. Horus, a.k.a. The moon, okay, is transiting, not the moon, but the sun is transiting the ninth house. You know, it's going through, you know, uh, this uh, would be the ninth. Yeah, let's say uh, space in the sky, you know, because we've got 12 in a day. So as the sun is transiting, you know, through the 24 hours in the, in the, in a day that we, you know, have calculated depending on a certain time, you know, I've utilized my ability to schedule, okay, uh, and scoped out, I scope out Horus, aka, you know, horoscope to scope Horus. So if you if you if you were lost in my uh intro in any of my videos, that's what it means. Horoscope to scope Horus. So the sun is transiting the ninth house. So meaning, you know, this is the time where, you know, we have more Jupiter influence in the t in this time of the day, time where it would be easier for spirits to channel uh, in the in the realms such as wisdom, learning, teaching, spirituality. You know, uh, yeah, broad philosophical ways. I'm looking at the world religion and God expansion. Just looking at just the Jupiter placement in general. You know, Jupiter influences. Okay, so and this is I was recently speaking to self, honestly. I was recently just speaking to myself as I always do, you know. Uh I was receiving message uh, in the realms of, you know, frequency, you know, I was basically catching ideas to make video to elaborate on the frequency, vibration, and energy of the spirit, okay? Uh, you no, know, and just how, just frequency, vibration, and energy in general okay so <clears throat> so as a spirit okay I chose to come into this physical dance reality okay so if you're spiritually inclined you know you we already know about frequency vibration and energy but you know Clearly, you know, I'm not just making this video for no reason because, you know, everything happens for a reason, especially me being a sun sign Sagittarius. Oh, I got a meaning and a reason for everything. Best believe that. So, uh, yeah, I was uh, receiving messages on the realms of, okay, me as an individual spirit, okay, having a you know you know and just the the natural process on how i incarnate you know as as you know as an individual soul and how i <clears throat> make this vessel this human vessel okay so So first, it's, it's the frequency, okay? So I was just my space, 
Okay, well, it's just my space. And, and, and this is not, and this is, this happens, this is not only just for, let's say, the, the spirit realm, this is happening, this is everything, okay? No matter what realm of reality, you know, you are experiencing as a spirit, frequency, vibration, and energy is, is everything. It's not only limited to earth, the earth realm we're experiencing, okay? You can feel frequency vibrations in your dream realm, okay? How does your dream make you feel? Okay, so this is, you know, when you dream, how do you feel? That's how you know that it's affecting you, not only in this earth realm, you know? So, so yeah, I was, I was saying, I was just my space. Unconscious frequency. Thought realm. Okay, just my space. Darkness, no thing. Okay? Uh, and then, you know, my space going into something that <clears throat> my space, my frequency, vibing with something that matched my state of being as an individual, yeah, as, 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 as a spirit. So it was just my my state of being vibing with you know the yeah frequency vibing with let's say thoughts and emotions aka state of being which you know my state of being that I as an individual spirit you know would like to you know go into okay and in my you know, state, let's say, state of awareness. My state of awareness got formed from that, okay? Which, you know, then, depending on, let's say, my parents having uh, intercourse, okay? as a spirit decided you know that was the you know frequency vibration you know my parents you know yes it's, it's both ways so it's not just oh your parents having intercourse and making you okay but it's you as an individual spirit choosing to vibe with the thoughts and emotions that was on you know those your parents mind okay so as a spirit i cho i dove into you know that sperm cell you know and that that's that's where you know i i, I was vibing with okay so yeah and we know about the, we know about the race. Okay, so we, you know, society does a good job in enlightening us, enlightening us about the race to the egg. But, you know, they sort of leave out the part I just elaborated on. Okay, so, yeah, you were a sperm cell, but, you know, <laughs> why did you choose that sperm cell, that specific one? You know, that's, that's, that's a deep, deep ass question. Why did you choose your parents? Why did you choose your, your specific parents? This is why I do not blame my parents for anything, you know? This is why, you know, once you become more spiritually inclined, you realize that, you know, all this shit is, <laughs> there is no pointing the finger, truly. There really isn't no pointing the finger. 
you know? Uh, so yeah, so from the no thing, darkness, okay? You create all of this as a spirit, okay? So yeah, to, in, from that sperm, once you go through the trials and tribulations of the race, I don't even, I can't even count how many sperm cells that you beat, okay? Do you imagine how powerful you are as a spirit to, to be even, to able, to be able to even take up a vessel in this realm of reality? Do you know how many sperm cells you beat to the egg? Do you know that? <laughs> I, I feel as though this is why <laughs> sex, sex is put in the eighth house category, in this taboo category, because they do not want you to be, let's say they wouldn't want you to be enlightened on your power and how powerful you are to beat all those sperm cells to the egg, you beat all them niggas. You, you beat all them niggas, all them motherfucking spirits to the egg. You did that, okay? So this is why I say when I'm talking about manifestation, people trying to make, other spirits trying to make manifestation complicated as fuck when you have manifested yourself into this physical dense reality. And just knowing that that's enough. When when think about manifestation. So it's like so the spirit is no thing. Spirit is no thing. Spirit is infinite. Okay. And I, as an individual spirit, okay, decided to have this pick up this human vessel to experience this ex this reality that I am experiencing now, okay, from the no thing, from the darkness, okay, based off my state of being and my state of awareness, okay, that I formed in the thought frequency vibration realm to be in this energy realm. So whenever I hear beings talk about saying it's just energy you know that i alchemize that in my mind to be like no that's false everything is not energy it's frequency vibration and energy okay it's a three three six nine if you hear one of my music i speak on three six nine follow me on instagram the three okay the the three that's that that was the original you know one to nine and then you have to go back to one and then zero to add to make a ten but truly it's all just three six nine and if you want to say you know twelve as well you still got to go back the number to to bring back the one and twelve you know, and that's still a multiple of three. Okay? Uh, so, yeah, from the no thing, which is infinite, you are infinite, okay? This is me recognizing, you know, that I am infinite in this realm that seems to be limited and, you know, yeah. Re realizing my power I'm gaining control of my powers that's an affirmation of mine you know so I would any viewer I would I would anyone viewing this video I would love to see you just sit on that no just know that the simple fact that you've manifested yourself here in this physical dense reality, <laughs> you know, you, you, 
you know, you did some work to get here. You didn't just pop up here. It wasn't easy shit. <laughs> As a sperm cell, you, you had you had some you had some shit to do. You had you had some work to do. Okay. So first day signing out. And I'ma catch you next now.